Hi friends, I'm Jamila, and welcome to the Venus Experiment channel. So today is Sunday, March 3rd, and we still have this cool and quirky Aquarius moon in the sky where we're getting this perspective, this air, this coming together with friends and getting this bird's eye view, this generalized view of looking at how all of us are working together in this global village, especially now that Venus has moved into Aquarius. So it's a logical, young, social energy. And so we are in our minds and we are social, thinking about our teams and our groups here and how we are all working together, being our unique, weird selves. And also we are in the dark moon phase. So just approaching the dark moon phase, which is this next two days before the new moon on Wednesday morning in Pisces that we'll talk a little bit about later. So now these next two days, this is the cleanse out or three days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, the finalization of all that has gone on for the last 28 days since that Aquarius new moon, where we really launched some new idea into the future. So this new beginning that we started reached its culmination at the full moon in Virgo and then has been asking us to purify and cleanse and release and allow and relax. And we are still doing that process. And right now, in fact, we are integrating all that we have been working on and all, that, all of this purification that we've been doing and releasing and allowing. So these next couple of days of Aquarius moon, it's all gonna be about our minds and our social worlds and how we are all working together. So as we go within, because the dark moon phase is a definitely a within time, we connect into our minds and our communities in our minds. This is Pisces the poet meets Aquarius, the scientist coming together to have a poetic science or a scientific poetry. <laughs> so but we're finishing stuff out here and we're preparing for a very, very yin, watery, sensitive Pisces new moon on Wednesday. So this is going to be at 15 degrees of Pisces, right in the middle of Pisces. We've had all of these new moons at right in the middle of Pisces and it's going to be exactly conjunct Neptune. So exactly with Neptune, the ruler of Pisces, the modern ruler, where we go under the ocean and all becomes one. So that's where we're going on Wednesday. So now we clear out our minds for the next two days to prepare for this very yin, feminine, allowing, receptive, new moon. It's going to be conjunct Neptune, the, the water, the ocean, but also sextiling Saturn in Capricorn. That's this beautiful dance they've been doing this year of making the dream real and the real dreamy and they've been holding hands the reality and the dream, the mystical, the magic, the art, the music. They're coming together in this bridge. So to, to this week, this Wednesday new moon, it's really going to be about going within and surrendering and letting go and dissolving. That's what Neptune does. Wherever it touches, it dissolves. So we dissolve this week and we just sink into the, the ocean of oneness on Wednesday. So now we prepare for that and this Aquarius new moon or Aquarius moon, what an exciting time. And Uranus is going into Taurus on the sixth and Mercury is going retrograde right before this new moon. So it's just so powerful and definitely for a reason. So next time we'll talk about Uranus and Mercury going retrograde, but it's all about us dissolving our minds, dissolving our belief systems and that goes, it fits just in line with the next two days of this Aquarius new moon with all of this Piscean energy dissolving. 
Okay, I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.